All right, guys, so <laughs> this is a simple, simple trade. Liberty price breaks down below the four hour support, turns it into resistance, which then price rejects off of, and then starts going straight down along with the bearish market structure. This makes an easy, easy trade. Okay, so by the way, he lost that trade. Yeah, he didn't make it. This is uh, the exact same setup on GBP USD four hour time frame that I replicated right here. Exactly the same, you know, um, coordinate. Everything's perfectly the same. And you can see here that it did not work. It is either he got stopped out or he got stopped out at break even because this is the candle that uh, was bearish in that video. This is the candle right here. By the way, let me make this thing thicker so you guys can see it very well. All right. This is the candle that was bearish in that video. So at one point, the candle was actually very, very bearish, which was good. I think over one to one already. So it was right here. So my, my speculations are, which is either he got stopped out at breaking right here, or he had too much faith in this trade that he stopped him out all the way through. Now, I'm going to tell you guys why. So first off, my name is Gislen, and you're watching the Forex Hybrid. Um, I'm, an, I'm a very, very strong advocate for you know price action. And I do believe in support and resistance as well. If you watch my older videos, I was actually trading price action. It was challenging but i was making money sometimes but i'll lose money most of the times as well now let me tell you guys why this particular trading strategy is very very complicated right now the reason is because the market does not really move for the reasons we think they move for. i'm not saying i know why the markets move right now but i'll simply say that it does not really care about support levels or resistance levels sometimes it bounces but it's mostly it bounces i mean it's lock you feel me like most of the time it's just luck now let me tell you why um, you should be trading fair value gaps i've been trading fair value gaps for a while but i started making content about fair value gaps i think it's a i think a week now i think for a week now yes so if you if you go to my channel you see the last four five six videos that i've made it's on fair value gaps alone i'm advocating for fair value gaps it is very 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 effective but now how do you trade fair value gaps that is the big question and i'm going to break down three ways in which you can catch insane trades using fair value gaps trading strategy across different different type frames as well so let's dive right into it okay guys now let me take this off now you can let's look at this guy's um you know trading setup and see what he would have done differently if he was trading fair value gaps right so first off we are going to get rid of this resistance i mean his analysis were not wrong his analysis were perfectly correct you get like it is an overall downtrend right now or gbp usd and his break of structure break and retest was perfect because you have multiple lows here rejected with weeks and everything and an, an impulsive break to the downside i mean i mean his setup his setup was complete his analysis were correct he just got unlucky so put the resistance does work but you, you're working on chances you're working on luck you're not certain about anything you get favorable gaps at least there's some level of certainty even if it's not 100 percent and i'll tell you just why now let's delete that support level let's do this let's look at this price action uh, let's look at this price chart how could we have done or what could we have done differently first off we can identify the clear break of structure to the downside i mean everybody can see that we have a clear break here we have a break here we have a break here as well now from my previous videos i told you guys when you look at the price chart we identify the structure first the structure here is clearly bearish now let's look for efficiency and inefficiency efficiency is simply when the market is like this mean, meaning there's no gaps or even if there's gaps the gaps have been filled already that's an efficient market but an inefficient market is a market where there's gaps that has not been filled but now this gap here has been filled so it's efficient but there's an inefficient price gap right here and i'll get to that later now we have spotted our inefficient price here let's assume that this price leg was not existing remember that guy who was selling around here i think so let me get his name <coughs> let me get his name i think it won't yes real brian that's his name his name is real brian massive respect to him so this is my level right now this is brian's level right here this is my level this is brian's level so brian is selling here and i'm selling up here so technically where brian's stop loss is that's where my entry is that's why this particular trading strategy gives you an edge over everybody else in the market now this is fairly gap my gap here has been identified clearly you can see that price broke into that gap it pierced it um, with about two weeks right there then before dropping finally now let's assume normally this is the five on um, four hour time frame it's a huge time frame i don't trade on the four hour but you can still do analysis here and drop down to lower time frames to get trades okay so now this is the four hour time frame we can get an entry right here let's put our stop loss just on top of this high or the candle right there perfect 
Now, let's say with a bad entry, because this is a bad entry. Normally, I'll go on the midpoint. But let's just assume that we get a bad entry right here. Okay. We can go for one is to two easy. We can sweep this lows. We can go down. We can go for one is to four. Whatever you get. So this is one scenario. We could have gotten this trade correctly, right? Let me delete that. Um, now let's get the next fairy gap on this other price leg here. You can clearly see that price has broken um, the market to the downside. This is another gap right here. You can see this right here. Fairy gap. Candle, candle, candle. Three candles, right? Candle A, candle B, candle C. You have a fairy gap right there. You can see the tapping right there. Let's look at another gap. Now, this is the inefficient gap that I was talking about earlier in this video. This gap here will get tapped. The question is when. First off, we can see that price is technically pushing to the upside right now. Why? Because this is a size of rejection. When you see candles, um, you know, leaving behind long down weeks like this, there's an upward push, there's an upward drive, you know, momentum that is coming um, right now in this particular GBP USD um, pair. You get so it's either rejecting off of a strong level or it's just a pullback into this level for it to continue selling. Now, what can you do as a trader in order to catch this? There are three ways to do it, and I'm going to tell you guys briefly, but I will not detail expand sheets on those because these are things that are in the training program already. So, this is a gap. You can take the first type of entry, which is aggressive. You can enter right here and put your stop loss on top of the candle that the family gap resides on, which is this one. You put it here, you have a good stop. You can aim for one to two, at least two times your risk, or one one is to one point five, depending on how your, your risk tolerance is. Honestly, that is that is definitely something everybody does differently. All right. So that's your entry. That's an aggressive entry right there. Then we can take a more, you know, in depth, or we can take a more more um uh high risk, or let me say low risk <laughs> entry. You can go down a smaller time frame and you zoom in to price into these candles here and you look for smaller price movements. Now, let me sketch it right here. I don't have time to go and start zooming on in and out of time frames to explain this. So, let me explain the lines. Hopefully, you guys understand. So, let's assume that this is our four hour family gap right here, right? This gap, this box here, this line here represents this box. It's the favorite gap. There's a huge candle here in the four hour. Now we're on the smaller time frames and we have this level right here. What you want price to do is <clears throat> this is the first way, this is the second way to enter. You know, the figure was aggressive. This one is more linear, and, you know, at least this one is more professional and high. You have high uh, uh, um, rewards here. Let's say if you use this particular entry model, you're going to make more money because you're going to have a tighter entry, tighter stop loss, the same risk, but you have more target more room to drive to the downside now price has made its way into your family gap now what you want is price to change character like this now this change of character here is a sign that price is about to start pushing down now you can now look for the family gap or this price leg or a nice order block or an inverted order block or whatever you can just get an entry to continue price down right this is the first twitter this is called this is fractal price is fractal on all time frames you can zoom in when you do that or you take the reversal so let's say this is the favorite guy right here and look at this price leg here let me let me, let me just go in 15 minutes and see if there's anything there we can look at this is the 15 minutes right here <clears throat> if seven is in a two something just look at the five minute i need something with more data all right this is the five minute time frame um we clearly don't have that right now Let's look at this. Okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I like this. All right, guys. Now this is the five minute time frame. We we'll zoomed in all the way to the five minute from the four uh, four hour time frame. Right now we want a change of character because why? We have a gap on the four hour, which is a pool of liquidity. It it is um price is going to gravitate towards that particular liquidity. It acts as, it acts as a magnet to price. You understand? It magnets price. So price will not rest unless it goes and fills up that gap. So what is your job now? You want to look for an entry to drive price up into that gap because eventually price will go up there. But now this one is more riskier than the others because you are targeting the family gap. You are not trading from the family gap, if you know what I mean. Okay. Now there is a lot of um, entries that you could get. This is the family gap right here. Let's say you get this gap. All right. This is the price tapping right into it. And now you can put your stop loss right here this week. You can drive price all the way to that family gap right there. Now, how many percent would this be? Let's see you enter right there and your stop loss is just right here. All right. Let's let's see how many let's see how many percent you can get with that. You drag this all the way up. Perfect. You have 3.93. You can just push it up to some more. Four R. Uh, this is four percent right there. Now let's use another method. First thing first, let's analyze this. <clears throat> Price has made a low, a lower high, 
a lower low. We have a fairly gap here that we want to drive price into, okay? We are looking to buy. Price now has broken structure here to the upside. So when price broke structure to the upside, what do we do? If identify structure is bullish, now what do we want to do? We want to look for impulse or want to look for fairly gaps. This is a fairly gap right here. This one, sorry. Sorry about that. This is my fairly gap right here. Now I want price to come back and let me buy. And I just bought here all the way up. Now somebody wants to even be more 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 careful that's just one way to do it okay you just look for a structure you look for the same thing the same thing you did to see this value gap the same thing you did to have this value gap on the four hour you do the same thing on the smaller time frame because price is fractal you understand it's fractal which means it's the same thing on all time frames you get the larger time frames are just less noisier that's it yes so i'm going to uh let me get this out of my way all right we can get price here, like I said. You can just buy here aggressively as well into this level, and that will be four percent. Or you can still come here, you wait for the price to tap into your favorite gap, and you still wait for another break, another change of character to the upside before you buy. That's you being extremely careful, and I don't trade like that personally. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? This is a change of character, <clears throat> price, and it comes back to tap. I'm perfect. Sorry. Yeah. So this right here, my friends, is a change of character. This is what the pattern looks like. Now, let me show you guys on this price leg. We have a low, we have a high, we have a lower low, we just swept this low, swept this low as well. Then price pushed up, took out this low. And then, you know, you can see, you can see it right here, this candle, this huge impulsive candle that took out structure. You can see the gap, right? You can see here that left the week. You can see the gap between this week and this week. Perfect gap. Now that is your buy. Let's see how much you get if you take this trade, zoom in on this time frame like this. Just, you know, I just want you to bear in mind that me, me, all right, this is my trade. I'll trade here into that level. But you, you want to be extremely careful and you want to maximize your profit. This is you right here. You're going to make a ton of money. You're risking the same amount of percent, the same amount of money as me and as the guy who's traded out there. Perfectly the same. You get. So you have more lots. You open more lots here. You have your stop loss just at this kind of week right here. Uh, let's see how much you get if you aim for the same target as me. Boom. You are going for 6.5. Jesus, that's 6.5%. So if you risk 1% per trade, you have 6.5% on a single trade. You have two trades like this, and your profit is really good to go. So this is exactly a complete breakdown. This is like a fractal complete breakdown of family gaps and stuff. I didn't want to give you guys this information, but I cannot help myself. I just already get it. And yeah, and there's more, of course, there's more, there's more, there's more trade management, there's everything involved. So if you want to be part of this, you can join my training program. Links are down below. You can click the first link. I think the first link in the description down below. Click the link and bring it to Telegram. You shoot me a message and let's chat. And now let's go back on the four hour time frame. So at the time I'm making this video, maybe you guys will see the trade already in action. But for now, I'm not taking this trade because I don't trade the four hour time frame. Um, I trade more on the smart time frame, like five minutes and one minute. All right. So right now, I, I just wanted to like you know make a video because I saw that guy's video on Instagram. I saw it and I was like, man, I felt I felt sorry for him. I mean, come on, I did because if he had this information, he would have treated better. All right. So aggressive entry, we can enter here. We can buy into this level. We can wait for price to enter here and look for change of character. Done. Perfect. So let's see where price goes. You guys should, you know, after watching the video, go up with GP USD on the four hour, go on a five minute, go on a 15 minute, look at price and comment down below if this video was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.